Hi guys, today we'll have an in-depth tutorial about Marsha as a jungler. As usual, I'll be sharing a recommended build, emblems and some handy tips and tricks to enhance your gameplay. Let's jump right into it. Pay close attention because the first minutes are the most important. Start with buying the boots and prioritize the vampire mallet. I found that this item is essential to not constantly need to recover an HP bar and lose valuable farming time. Because casting skill 1 depletes a part of our HP every time. We always want to start at the buff at the opposite side of the gold lane, since we'll be ending our farming route there to try to make a kill. So the first item in our build are the swift boots to get some extra attack and movement speed to clear the jungle monsters quickly. Since Masha doesn't benefit from physical or magic defense and cooldown isn't necessary, these boots fit her feet best. You want to save retribution to try to secure the little wonder. But if the enemy takes it, just continue your jungle route. After reaching level 4, Masha can easily kill a marksman that depends on basic attack because of her ultimate. If there's no opportunity, you want to continue farming because her main goal is to get the golden staff as quick as possible, since this is what makes Masha so strong, which you'll see in a moment. So her combo is quite easy. Use her ultimate to come close and disable his basic attack. Use her second skill right away to slow the targets and then just deal damage with basic attack with skill 1 activated if possible. We want to stay at 2 HP bars at least, so we aren't killed easily when an enemy tries to kill us. The turtle isn't hard for Marsha to kill, so look for opportunities to take it down. So some of our allies were fighting a few enemy heroes. While it might be tempting to join, you really shouldn't, especially in this part of the match. We want to have the golden stuff, which really increases Marsha's DPS. It just adds some physical attack and attack speed, but it's the unique passive that makes it such a strong pick for her. The first part converts her crit chance to attack speeds, which we don't really care about. The second part, makes every third strike with her basic attack trigger the attack effects an additional two times. Combined with her first skill, this deals huge damage, which you'll see soon. Your cowardice will unnerve my fury. So once again, ultimate, slow the target, or try to, and finish with basic attack. Do you know what violence is static star? Keep in mind that in a 1 vs 1 battle against a basic attack damage hero, like Moskov, it's an almost guaranteed win as long as your ultimate is available. Hold on! I'm trying to be gentle. So we now have the golden stuff, and as you see, every third attack is more than twice the damage of the normal basic attack. And this gets even higher after our next items. Hold on! I'm trying to be done. Our turret has been destroyed. Thank you. 
for the glory of my ancestors. Marsha is able to deal really high damage, but don't get too confident. In a 1 vs 2 situation, it's a lot harder to win. Like you see, the jungle monsters are killed very quickly after purchasing the golden staff, and from this point, you should rather keep your retribution to cast it on a hero, to slow it, which increases the chance of making a kill. So if there are multiple enemies, you want to focus on one and stay as far away as the other ones as possible to minimize the amount of damage you take. Then kill one and use your skills to slow down and come close to the enemy. The third item in our build is the Corrition Sky. And we need this item mainly for the huge amounts of attack speed. Also the slow effect is quite effectively to chase down enemies who think they might escape. Now we got high damage from the Golden Staff, as well as high attack speeds, which already gets us a very nice DPS, but it gets even better. See how easy Masha can take down a single target? If you like this guide, you can show me your support by hitting the like button. Now we got the Demon Hunter Sword, which really spices things up. So this item adds a bit of lifesteal, which is nice, but it's the unique passive what makes it such a wonderful item. Every basic attack deals 8% of the current HP of the target as extra damage. And because of the golden stuff, every third attack, the effect gets activated two times extra. Check out how fast she can kill monsters right now. To be gentle. So like I said, select a target that is far away from the other enemies, use retribution to slow it down and basic attack to kill it. Then you've got your other skills to move on to the next targets. When playing Masha with this build, it's really important that you analyze the current situation to see if you can take out the Lord quickly. She has a really high DPS, which gets the Lord down in just seconds. The next item in our build is the Blade of Despair, which adds a huge amount of physical attack, making Masha's DPS even higher. Jungle monsters don't stand a chance anymore. A big weakness of Masha are teamfights where multiple enemies can deal damage to you, which you want to prevent. Try to focus on one target, otherwise don't go in since she can be killed quickly. All laser pushed, which is another great possibility to take down the Lord. Like you see, this damage is insane. Too many enemies. You have slain an enemy. For the glory of my 
ancestors. When facing multiple enemies, the best way is to run away and hope one enemy chases you, which you can easily defeat in a 1 vs 1 battle. By the way, the last item is the Malefic Rar, and this helps to hit through defense of the more tanky heroes, to get them down quickly as well. It might not be the perfect moment to take out the Lord, but we got Franco here and Retribution ready. So this was my guide about how to use Marsha, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment and I'll love to answer you. As always, thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you again in the next guide.